medical dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i am dr nandita mohan and let's look into the latest developments general anesthesia is considered as safe an option as spinal anesthesia after a broken hip surgery there are many studies in the literature which reports the comparisons of general anesthesia versus spinal anesthesia some of which have even suggested that there are lower rates of cognitive and medical complications when compared with spinal anesthesia however a new research shows that the rates of survival functional recovery and post operative delirium are similar for patients whether they underwent general anesthesia or even spinal anesthesia specifically for hip fracture surgery the study published in the New England Journal of Medicine enrolled 1600 patients at least 50 years of age who had broken a hip and had previously been able to walk hip fractures are particularly worrisome among older populations like the patients in the study since they can lead to a loss of mobility which is also associated with doubling or even tripling the risk of near term death the results showed that by 60 days after surgery 18.5% assigned to the spinal anesthesia had either died or become unusually unable to walk versus 18% of patients who received general anesthesia when looking at mortality at 60 days alone 3.9% received spinal anesthesia died versus 4.1 who got general anesthesia the study hence reassured that general anesthesia can represent a safe option for hip fracture surgery for many patients never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon